Hello. Welcome to Megar's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss what limits can be set on the impedance testing form, how can I set a baseline impedance. Let's get started. To help with analysis, various limits can be entered on the impedance testing form. There is a minimum and maximum limit provided for individual cell voltages here. There are warning and alarm limits provided for three analysis parameters, namely percentage variation, percentage change, and percentage deviation. These three parameters are visible in the impedance data table over here. I'm not going to talk about these terms much in this video. We'll focus on that in the video that deals with the impedance data table. The alarm limit needs to be set at a higher value than the warning limit and you will notice that the colors of the values displayed in the impedance data table changes based on where they lie with respect to the warning and the alarm limits. If a value lies between the warning and alarm limit, it is colored blue. If a value exceeds the alarm limit, it is colored red. There is also warning and alarm limits provided for strap resistance variation. All of these limits can be set manually based on your personal experience or you can check this box and you will see that the warning and alarm limits change. These limits are selected based on the battery type. In this case, the battery type is VRLA. So the software has certain default limits for VRLA batteries and those limits have been applied on this form. Baseline impedance is kind of like the main reference value with which all the individual impedance values are compared. There are different ways of setting the baseline impedance. If you test on a battery string for the first time, then you would use those values to come up with the baseline impedance for impedance testing on that battery string. In that case, what you would do is you would check this box. When you do that, the baseline impedance will be calculated from the individual impedance values measured during that particular test. You also see a second checkbox appear here when you check the use this test as baseline option. By checking on this box, you can transfer the, uh, imp the baseline impedance value that you may have entered on the instrument while running the test on the battery string. Let's uncheck this box to look at the second option, which says use database baseline. So the software has a local database which consists of various uh, battery models. You can select a particular model and you can enter um, a baseline impedance in there so that there is a baseline impedance value associated with that particular model. Now let's see where, let's see how to access that database. The database can be accessed by clicking on the cell number. When I click on that, it opens up a window that says cell information for cell number one. I can select a manufacturer here. In this case, it's Inersys. I can select one of these cell models under Inersys. If the cell model that I'm looking for is not there in this list, then I can just click on cell model and I see a window that says battery model information. Here you will see all these empty fields and you can enter uh, the information. If you know the information associated with that particular model, you can enter all that information over here model that I was looking for is DDM35 so I enter that over here I'm gonna leave the other fields empty but I'm going to enter a value where it says baseline so now 
there is a baseline impedance of 0 0.87 associated with, with the DDM35 model. I click on OK. And then I can click on the drop down and select DDM35. You will also notice that there is some other fields here. Uh, like there is a date code and there is a field for installation date if you want to enter that. If cell number one is your pilot cell, you can check this box. You can enter some comments here if you want. Let's click on OK. When this checkbox is checked, you will see that the baseline impedance changes to 0 0.87. And you will also see DDM35 appear in the row associated with uh, cell number one. You can right click and then select set all cells to cell one manufacturer and model. And when you say yes, you will see that the model name is applied to all the other cells. This concludes what limits can be set on the impedance testing form. How can I set a baseline impedance? Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.